Salamanders are typically nocturnal. Unlike frogs, they lack the ability to produce vocal calls, and their legs are not significantly longer than their arms. Some are fully terrestrial and others are fully aquatic. While most salamanders live just under the soil and are often found under rocks and logs, some can bury deep into the soil and others can climb trees. All are carnivorous, feeding primarily on insects. Although they are not frequently seen, forests of the northeastern U.S. typically contain significant numbers of them. The combined mass of salamanders in a certain area of forest often surpasses the combined masses of birds and mammals found there. As amphibians, salamanders depend on water. Many will spend a larval stage which must inhabit the water. Some inhabit the water as adults. Many swim quite well, and some, as these here in the spring rains, even use water to move towards where the mating will occur. As a result, salamanders are far more common in damp areas such as the forests of the Northeast than they are in many parts of the world. Note in these salamanders here that most of the forward movement is not caused by contractions of the muscles of the arms and legs. Instead, their bodies are moving in an S-shaped wriggle, as fish do when they swim through the water. The arms and legs are primarily uh, functioning as holdfasts, and so once they anchor to the ground, the uh, trunk and abdominal uh, muscles as they make this S-shaped pattern, this will then push the body forward. So these salamanders have modified the same type of S-shaped movement which fish use, but the limbs allow uh, the body to hold fast onto the ground for leverage. In all of the salamander species which occur in our area, fertilization occurs inside the body of the female. While some salamanders give birth to live young, others lay eggs in damp areas, which hatch as terrestrial juveniles, and others lay their eggs in water, which hatch as aquatic larvae. Aquatic larvae possess prominent gills behind their heads.